Hello and welcome to Jake's RC Stuff and this video is taken from my X1 build video part 2 in this video I'm going to be showing you what a FreeSky SBUS decoder is why you might want to use it and showing you how to set it up using the Futaba SBUS channel changer this does not have to be used on a FreeSky radio you can use it with a Futaba or a Easy UHF like what I'm doing and I'm sure that Free Sky's own channel changer won't be too far off from Futaba's. So, without further ado, into the main video. Now, this thing that might look slightly like the moon is actually what I was doing some soldering on. So, here is the little channel changer. Let me. So this is Futaba SBC1. Um, this is our SBUS channel changer. Um, a lot of the Futaba radios also have this ability programmed into them and I presume that FreeSky must do something similar to this but this is one that I have uh, because we use um, Futaba servos uh, in a lot of the big planes now, SBUS ones so, ta -da, there it is, I found it so, what I'm doing here is I am basically moving my bulky receiver onto the wing tip and then moving this inside the fuselage because it's so small um, what can I compare it to? Um, well, compare it to a video 5.8 video transmitter. Most people know the size of them, and you see, not that bad. So, what I'm using it for, as I say, is to sort of move the th um, channel output. Another option you have with these is for additional servo outs. So, two reasons you might want to do this. Um, say you use a vector. Um, if on your SBUS lead you put a Y lead, I've not had a vector so this is going off of what I've heard from people like Matt Ogborn. If you put a Y lead in uh, and then have one end of your Y lead go into the vector and another Y lead going to here, these can be for dedicated separate servos, so flaps or undercarriage or pan and tilt, you know, stuff that isn't used by your flight controller. Um, another option you could use is, for example, what I plan on using these for in the future the biggest easy UHF uh, receiver you can get is 8 channels but if I want more than 8 channels because by the time you've had 4 uh, you know elevator rudder throttle aileron and then 2 flight mode switches you've only got 2 channels left say so that takes up a pan and tilt what if you've got flaps or an undercarriage or an on-screen display switch turn on and off um, it's challenging to say the least uh, well, what you could do is you could set channel 8 in your, uh, what's it called, Immersion RC computer programming thing, whatever it's called, that program. You could set channel 8 to be your SBUS out, you plug and plug this into channel 8, and then you program this so that uh, ch uh, output 1, because you see we have 4 outputs, you program output 1 to be your channel 8, 2 to be 9, 3 to be 10, 4 to be 11, and you basically get 3 extra channels, because you use 1 and gain 4. So, ta-da, that's what I'm going to use them for in the future, uh, but I need a radio that actually outputs more than 8 channels, because the 10 is a bit strange, but I love it, it's the best radio I've ever had. Um, and that's the 10 CP from Futab, not the 10J. Good God, no. Um, so... That is how these things work. Let's get to programming them. So what do I actually mean by programming them? Well, first of all, focus. Uh, so as you can see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is the lowest pin. 2 is the middle. 3 is there. And then 4 is the one that's straight out. So we can set these outputs to any channel on your radio. So 1 could be 12. 2 could be 3. 3 could be 2. And 4 could be 9, if you really wanted to confuse yourself. I'm going to do it nice and simple and just program 1 as 1, 2 as 2, 3 as 3, and 4 as 4. I apologise, there's a boiler in this room which is fired up. Um, so, they are actually incredibly easy to program. What I need is a little battery to run this off, so I'll just move the camera quickly while I go and find the little battery I require. Okay, so here's our little box. I'm going to put focus again there we are so as you can see we've got SBUS and BAT so I'm going to plug the SBUS you either put your servo or your little decoder into the SBUS section 
We then put, I've got a little 5 cell NICAD here, any sort of 5 or 6 volt input. Put that in. Now this is what I was not getting on the other one, green light. So as you can see at the moment, that green light is on 3. And if I push that button, it'll move. So that's gone to 4, 1, 2, so 2, 3, 4. Um, so to program output 1, we first of all change the output number on here to 1. Okay, so now this is telling this little decoder box, which is flashing occasionally, that we're programming output 1 at the moment. So, if we wanted output 1 on here to be 8, we change this little spinny dial to 8, so that's between the 7 and the 9. Funnily enough, that's how numbers work. Um, and then you press and hold the button for a second and it will program it. Uh, but because we're being nice and simple here, let me, where's that screwdriver I put down? Where's that screwdriver I'm putting down? So I'm going to go in with this screwdriver and there's an arrow on the end of this pot. I'm going to turn that, that's possibly to two. That's definitely at one. Thank you for zooming over there. That's not what I used to zoom on. So as you can see, I've set the arrow to one. We then press and hold the button. It flashes a few times and goes solid. And then we remove the power. And then you remove the servo. We're not going to remove the servo. We're going to put it back in. We are going to go to this little doohickey and move it to channel 2 by pressing the button then spin the rotary dial to 2 and press the button done right unplug plug it in again you tell me what we're going to do this time you're going to press that button 2 3 we're going to rotate that by one click to three. So this is the chat, just to reaffirm, this is your transmitter channel. So for example, if you're on through Tarbet, Aileron is one. Uh, and on here, you're changing which output you want it on on here. So three is three. I can't remember if I actually pressed the button or not, so I'll do it again. Rapid flashing. Excellent. Unplug. Plug it in. And even though I'm not going to use it, I'm also going to program channel 4 to set to light number 4. Rotate this to between 3 and 5 for 4. And press and hold the button. He says, press and hold the button. It flashes, when it's solid, unplug. So that is how you program a SBUS decoder, or pretty much any SBUS servo. That was a tutorial within the video for you. I might even possibly post it separate.